Now I'm going to solve a dish rack to the glory of eternity. Woohoo! Um, because I picked that up on my newspaper route along with the punch bowl that divides by three, and so I feel led by Jehovah to solve a dish rack. We got to solve the simple things as well as all the expensive things. So watch this. Dish rack contains Jehovah in obvious fashion. Starts with plus one, just like Duracell, Disney, McDonald's, all those famous and God and Jesus. Um, and then find love. It's very easy. And then the grand total is 73, which is perfectly the 21st prime, which is a sevenfold set of threes, okay? Um, but here's your gold train of threes after the plus one in the front. And uh, then find love. You've got, it's very beautiful. Love is at the center of dish rack. You've got 27 there plus 27 there. So there's the two 27s. And that is using the same letters that is at the center of Christ. Okay, so love is at the center of Christ. To pick the most obvious word that you should find love in, Christ. <laughs> Can you find love in Christ? Yes, Christ is love. <laughs> he is God, okay? So, HS27, RI27, okay? Love at the center of Christ. Well, that's the same letters at the center of dish rack. So, the follow-up question, class. Can you find love in a dish rack? Of course you can. If you can't find love in a dish rack, where can you find love? If you're not thankful for a dish rack God gives you, uh, how will you be thankful for anything greater than that? Okay, so, and there's a lot of these things. I mean, far better for us to solve an item that's in every person's household than in some rare item that's only used by a couple people, and this is used daily. The dish rack! Okay, um, I have to write a song about this. Um, so there you go, there's love at the center of dish rack, and then you've got a bonus 12 plus 3 left over, that's 15, and so what's cool about that is that this now equals Jehovah. Wow. So this, this gold train here now equals uh, Jehovah, the famous 69. Okay. And then if you pluralize by putting an S here, or possessifying by talking about the dish rack's size, or the dish rack's color, or the dish rack's brand, then you add another plus one on the end. So you see how it's all based on the number three? With these plus ones that come front and back, that's what God ordained in G-O-D. God and Jesus, J-E-S-U-S, -S, okay, and a host of others, and we've talked about them. Um, but there's your gold train of threes in the center. Love, screaming it out, same letters as Christ. Uh, there you go. So we solved every dish rack in the history of mankind. And that's a lot of dish racks. I mean, you could take a magic carpet ride now to every household in London, UK, United States of America, Spain, Germany, France, Canada, Mexico, everywhere on planet Earth, the famous dish rack has now been solved. If it's possible to wear one of these on your head, someone should dress up, you know, for Halloween as like a, you know, I don't know, like a kitchen utensil, like, uh, okay, so there you go, dish racks have now been solved. Uh, I never forget, what's the most common item you place in the dish rack? Well, the plate, okay? Plate equals love. There you go, every dish rack has now been solved. Uh, the current date and time that this was achieved is 8.57 a.m., which divides by three nicely on June 17th, 2015. All those numbers precisely reference Jesus' class uh, because it's his story. On man equals 33. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? The dish rack. The one and only dish rack has been solved. Um, and by the way, the term dishwasher divides by three perfectly because now this D at the front knits together with the E and washer, wash divides by three, and, uh, and then of course you can find love in a dishwasher. Um, so whether you're the human dishwasher or you've got a machine dishwasher, you know, the dishwasher has a dish rack on the inside of it, you get the idea. There's always a dishwasher with a dish rack and, okay, so. Dishwasher, let's just quickly do this one because it's just, we're right here in the neighborhood. It's like efficiency. You know when you're in the gold mine and you're right there in the one gold vein? Well, it's like you might as well scoop up the nugget that's right next to you. Uh, so here's the R on the end here, going together with these guys. So there's our love already, composed of the same letters in Christ. 
And then you've got another half a love here, another 24 triple eight, and then the E and the D get married to make the final nine. So a dishwasher is love, is 81, plus nine is 90, is 114. Good night. Okay, fun. So we solved every dish rack and every dishwasher. So what's the obvious thing the entire universe should do now that we have officially solved every dish rack and every dishwasher for the glory of the Trinity? Give thanks to God. <laughs> who is three persons, God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost, for the dish rack that you have, the dishwasher that you have, the life that you have, and everything that you have. <laughs> because you're either going to heaven or going to hell. And if you confess the Godship of Jesus Christ, you're going to heaven. If you don't, you're going to hell. So, do the right thing today, please. And watch all my videos. Uh, we're solving everything under the sun for the glory of the Trinity, so that it's really, really embarrassing. Um, just how non-thankful and unworshipful this current generation is so we see what we call an awakening, a revival, a glory fest break forth upon people as they understand who to give thanks for day and night. Okay, so give thanks to the Trinity today. Warriors action tonight, game six, don't miss it. Uh, I'll be reporting on threes. I've got a bunch of stories to tell. We'll get through them today, I'm sure. Glory to God, divides by three, amen equals 33.